Hey everyone, it's me, Kat. Um, I'm here to do another tag. I found this tag from, um, his name is Ryan Reads Books. Um, it's the We Love Books, yeah, the We Love Books tag, and each question is a letter. Um, if I look over here, I'm sorry, it's just my chinchilla is like bothering me he doesn't know how to leave me alone while mommy's doing stuff um but and if i'm looking down i'm looking at my ipod because i have the questions on there um my chinchilla thinks that if he eats the cage he's going to get out of the cage when he can't eat through the cage he's a very stupid chinchilla anyway um so i'm gonna do the tag um i tag all of you so please do this. You can either, if you don't want to do a video because you're not comfortable doing videos, just put your answers down below so I can read them or put a video response and I would love to see it. So the first one is what book from your collection would you keep if all the rest had to be thrown out or taken away? I would probably die if all my books had to get thrown out or taken away. Um, but the if I absolutely had to pick one book to keep for the rest of forever, would be Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Um, this is my favorite book out of the whole series. Um, and it's very long, so I could read it over and over and over again. Um, well, I can read any of the Harry Potters over and over and over again. But it is my favorite, favorite, favorite book. Um, I would have to choose, if it couldn't be this one by any chance, I would have to choose another Harry Potter book because Harry Potter is my life. Um, I'm absolutely obsessed with it, so it would definitely have to be Deathly Hallows. Next one is E, and it's each time you read, do you like something to munch on or something to drink? When I read, you can ask my best friend, when I read, I kind of go into a little bubble, um, and I don't eat or drink the whole time. Um, a lot of the times I am reading for multiple hours, um, and I don't really come out of that bubble until I'm done reading. Um, of course, I can have conversations with people and I can, if I need to do something, I can put the book down, but I just don't eat or drink. Um, once in a while, I'll have like a bottle of water with me, but that's about it. Um, I, if I lend out, a lot of times I don't lend out my books anymore, but if I lend out a book to somebody, I ask them to please do not eat when you are reading because I don't want food on my pages. Um, just an OCPD thing. Sorry, an OCPD thing of mine. I just don't want to see the food or thumbprints on my pages. Next is L, and it's love of books. When did you start, and what was the first book you read? I started reading the minute I could. My mom said when I was younger, um, I always wanted, like, I tried to start reading as soon as I could, and once I could read, I was reading everything. Um, I have had my love of books and my love of reading since God knows when. Um, in my stockpile, not my stockpile, in my pile of books, the um, only book that I've had for other than like my little tiny like kids books, um, the book that I actually first read that I still own, um, a lot of them I don't own anymore. I either gave them away or sold them or something. Um, but the one book I do own that was the very, very first book I read was Mandy by Julie Edwards. Um, Julie Edwards is actually Julie Andrews. You know her from Mary Poppins. Um, this was one of my favorite books. It does have very big writing. It's a chapter book, um, and it does have pictures in it. Not many, but it does have pictures in it. Um, you can tell that I have read it multiple times. I, this is probably my most read book in my pile. I've probably read this about 20, 30 times. Um, I absolutely love this book. This is a great book for a new reader. Um, it is about a girl that lives in an orphanage. Sorry, I'm, I'm looking at something. Anyway, um, there's, this is about a girl that Sorry, I had to kill a spider. Anyway, um, <laughs> I didn't want it going towards my bed. Um, so this is about a girl that lives in an orphanage. She's 10 years old. And um, one day she decides to climb over the big, huge wall 
that is in the back of the orphanage and she goes into the woods and she finds a cabin um and so she starts to borrow things from the orphanage to make this cabin her own little house because she is never adopted um well i'm not going to tell you the whole story but um yeah so this is such such a great book i actually kind of feel like reading it again um just because i absolutely adore this book next is O. one book would you would never go back and reread again that would definitely have to be the lemonade war by jacqueline davies i absolutely disliked this book i have i no. i will never reread this i will never recommend it i will never let anyone else read it i might sell it um just because i could use the money but i know this was such a horrible book it probably is horrible to me because it's such a like younger kids book the only reason i read this book because i would never pick this up um like the cover is i just don't like the cover i don't like anything the back has money around the rim um I just, I would never have picked this up. The only book reason I read this is because in the town I live in, they were doing a one book, one community project. And so everyone was given this book for free um, or to borrow and read and then bring back um, because it was this big, huge community thing. And they were going to have this talk about it and stuff like that. So I was like, you know what? Because I had told them that I would help them out with the project if they needed to because I was such a big and avid reader um and so I was like well if I'm gonna help them with the project I should probably know about the book so I made sure I read it and I did read the whole book um but I just do not like this book whatsoever next one is the very romantic or very full of action I am very full of action I do and have read romance books but I feel personally that um the romance books are very played up. Um, I believe they're the reason why there's not real true love in the world anymore because everyone wants to find their Prince Charming in this one romance book that they read because that's who they're looking for. And so they take anybody they meet and compare them to people in the books and they just don't aren't compatible with anybody because of that. Um, so I don't really like romance and it's a lot of foofy doofy stuff that I just, I don't really like. Um, so I would definitely have to choose very full of action. Next is another E, um, end of book cliffhanger or no cliffhanger. I say in the middle, um, I like to have a little bit of cliffhanger, but not such a big, huge cliffhanger that I need to read this next book ASAP, especially if I don't have the next book. Um, I am very kooky with how I have my books and I like to have the whole entire series before I start reading it um, just so I know that I can go continue on um, which is why I'm so mad that I already read Delirium because now I don't have Pandemonium and I need to read it. Um, but like I can give you an example. I have how many of them? I think six or seven of the house i think i have six of the house and night series and i will not let myself read it until i get all of the books just so i can read them because i like a cliffhanger that but i like the book to wrap up the important part and then leave the rest of the little bit bit of things to put into the next book next one is b big books or small books um it depends on my mood depends on what I feel like reading. It depends on what I just finished reading. Like if I just finished reading a book like this, I do not want another big book. Um, just like if I finish reading a big full of action book, I just, or like a big huge murder book or something like that. I want something kind of small and contemporary and things like that. It just totally depends on my mood and what I'm looking for. Next is O, only one genre or a mixture. Um, I have a huge mixture. Um, I have a lot of drama books. I have a lot of murder books. I have a lot of fiction, a lot of historical fiction. Um, I do have some biographies and stuff like that. It just depends on if it really catches my interest or not. Next is O, olden day books, present day or future, which is Victorian type era books 
or present day books or dystopian books. If I had to pick, I would pick present day. Um, I like historical fiction and I like the times back in the day, um, but it is not my favorite. I seem to kind of get a little bit bored reading those types of books. Um, and then on the other end, dystopian books. I really do like dystopian books, but it's sometimes hard to grasp it. Um, like, especially in uh, when I was reading Delirium by Lauren Oliver, it was very hard to grasp the thought of no love. Um, so I like, I really, really like dystopian books, but I'd rather read something that's present day so I can actually fully comprehend everything that's going on. Next is K, and it's Katniss or Hermione. Um, I do not. I'm sorry, you guys are going to kill me. I have not read The Hunger Games. I don't want to read The Hunger Games. I don't think I would like them. So I just don't really want to read The Hunger Games. Um, so definitely not Katniss. And I am a huge, 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 huge Harry Potter nerd. So Hermione all the way. Um, and last one, standalone or series. Um, let's see. I like series. Um, but I do like standalone books because then I can just go from one to another to another. Um, because I'm so weird, like I said, I have to have the whole series before I can, like I have to own the whole series before I can read it. So that's kind of like um, if I start a book, if it's in a series, I want to read the whole series. So it's kind of like I'm in that series for the whole entire time. I can't just read one book and then go and pick another book. So I'd rather a standalone book, but of course I still read series. So I will put the questions down below and um, I tag all of you to do it and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.